All right, today I'm going to teach you how to get a uh, really stubborn, nasty bolt loose. This one's actually already kind of loose because I already worked on it. So I'm going to spare you the, the sound of me beating on it with a hammer, but I'll just go through the technique. Um, the first thing you want to do if it's exhaust or an engine part, let it run and warm it up. It's uh, you know free. It's not going to cost you anything to run it for a little bit, a little bit of gas maybe, but it'll save it from snapping it off in the engine block or in an exhaust manifold or whatever it is you're working on. <clears throat> Definitely want to use the correct tool. You don't want to use a, uh, a wrench that has too many sides. This is the perfect one for that, you know, for this fastener. It's got the right number of sides, right size. And then uh, after that, you want to spray it. Use PB Blaster, which is much better than WD-40. Um, my favorite thing to use is this mixture. It's half acetone and half ATF. I shake it up a little bit because it does tend to separate. You just hose it on there. Right after that, get out a decent sized hammer and uh, smack it. I already did that. I'm not going to kill your ears by banging on it. And then after you do that, you can hose it down again. And that just lets that uh, penetrant soak in there. When that, uh, It'll break that bond of the rust and the threads. My grandfather actually taught me that trick seems to work out uh, you know much better than just spraying it and letting it soak by itself naturally and then after that <clears throat> you want to try to crack that bolt loose you might think you only have one chance but actually you have two you want to put your wrench on there and actually tighten it and a lot of times you hear a pop or it'll just go this one is actually not too bad it's not that old but so just a little bit, just like a sixteenth of a turn. You don't want to go crazy. And once you do that, flip it in reverse, start loosening it. And if it starts binding up on you, stop. Don't keep going. Spray it again, some more penetrant, tighten it back down. That'll also help work the penetrant, you know, deep down. Now in this particular thing, you can actually see the the head of the bolt coming out the backside, and you can use that to your advantage. You can actually tell when you first break it loose if you're actually turning the whole bolt or if you're about to snap the head off because you can watch the backside as you turn that. So just work it back and forth. This one's really easy, but in some cases, I've had to work stuff back and forth for a good five, ten minutes to get it to free up. But when I did, it came right out. I didn't have to drill it out later. That's it. Simple as that.